Today I'm going to show you my all-time favorite fragrances, the best fragrances that I've ever smelled, and if I had to restart my collection, these would be the ones that I buy. I also have a new fragrance here that I'm going to show you as well, and I'm really excited, so if you want to know what it is, then keep on watching. Before we get into fragrances, I just wanted to show you the gorgeous jewelry that I'm wearing today. I get all asked all the time on all of my socials what jewelry that I love to wear and since it's the season of gifting, not only Valentine's Day um, is for you and your partner but it's also to yourself so if you don't have a partner you can gift yourself or gift your friends and have like matching bracelets or matching, matching necklaces and even if you have them it's never a wrong time to spoil yourself and what a better way to do that with really nice jewelry. So I'm really excited to collaborate with Ana Luisa on this topic and I just wanted to show you also um, in what kind of ways they come because I think this is such a really nice touch. They come in these bags and they are actually magnetic and I think this is amazing when you travel. You can also put your other jewelry in there and I'm going to show you a close up um, on the video right now. So this is the necklace that I'm wearing. It is absolutely gorgeous and I also got the silver version of it. I want to show you. And I think this would be so beautiful to stack them together. I mean, if you wear a simple outfit and you just want to do something a little bit different to make sure your outfit maybe stands out a little bit more, then I would definitely recommend you stacking. And who said you cannot wear gold, like yellow gold and white gold or um, gold and silver colors together? You absolutely can. I think it actually looks really amazing. And I do this all the time. And I also got these gorgeous earrings. I will add a close up of the product afterwards. And I'm really, really happy with the selection. And I got another pair that I wanted to show you as well. It is this pair of earrings. And if you follow me on YouTube, then you know that I have worked with um, Ana Luisa before. And there is a pair of earrings that I get asked until now where it is from. And it is this pair of earrings. It's name, it's the name of these earrings is Paris. Yes, Paris. And this is in silver. And I got the ones that I already got is in a gold color. And I wear them all the time. And so I was sure to pick them up because I already wear the other ones. And since I love both metal colors, I figured why not get the same color again. And I also got this piece, which I really love. It is something that I don't usually wear, but I really love it. The fact that it is with a green stone one that I really love. It is so, so gorgeous. I just love how dainty it is, but still it is a statement piece. If you click on the description box below, there's a personal link where you can click and buy the collection that I choose from. And you also get the second one off 50%. If you see this video and this um, promo period has already ended, you still get 20% off with my code. And I will put all of the information down below. My new fragrances, Please write down in the comments what you think it is since you've seen a little bit of the bottle and also you've seen my videos and I've talked about my wish list and it's one of my wish lists. And I also told you that if I get a new fragrance, I have to get rid of one. And the one that I got rid of is another 13, which I got in October and it's already empty. Like I love this fragrance. However, I think for the price point, it is quite expensive considering how much I use this. Yes, I'm an oversprayer, but still, I feel like, I don't know what it is with this bottle, but it was empty so quickly. What I replaced it with is Aqua di Palma Ambra, and, or Ambra, or however you call it. And I really love Aqua di Parma um, for the home fragrance collection. I think it's a really nice brand. And I also had a, a Rosa Nobile, I think, um, in the beginning of YouTube, I was talking about it. It's a really great, gorgeous rose scent, a little bit more soapy and light. And I smelled this in a store and I really love it. I don't know why, but I started to be obsessed with amber fragrances. Just, it is absolutely beautiful. It really has the sophistication of Ambra, I mean, of Aqua di Parma. The brand DNA is a very sophisticated elegance. You know, it's like, it's like Italian fashion. It's very, very elegant and refined. And um, I really, really love this fragrance. It does smell very ambery, but it's a very woody. Again, I could explain it the best as a smell that you smell when you go into a hotel lobby. It's so beautiful. It's a very, it's a very gorgeous fragrance that makes me feel really powerful. There's something spicy about it, something very woody. It definitely is a very woody fragrance. If you love woody scents, you don't mind an oud scent, you don't mind a really strong amber scent then you will absolutely love this. This is a comforting fragrance that I just 
I think if I smell this somewhere, it would just, it's just absolutely beautiful. Like I will be like, wow. It also makes me feel very powerful. There's this just very, very woody note that just gives me like a woody note just really remind me also of my origins. It just, for me, is pure class. They go with everything. They elevate every look. It just gives you some kind of sophistication. And I'm really excited to have this in my collection. And I don't know about the longevity yet. When I tried it the first time, I was trying it with my friend in a store and I couldn't stop smelling my wrist because it's that beautiful. Um, if you need me to compare it to anything, it's not like um, uh, berry green. It doesn't have any sweet aspect to me. It is more like a bleu turquoise, but without the spa aspect. It's a very woody, comforting, gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance uh, with amber. So there's this suede-like feel when you smell it. Ah, it's so beautiful. But yeah, when it comes to the longevity, I really don't know because I just got it today and I was like, yes, it's really on time for filming. But... <clears throat> I don't think it's the most long lasting fragrance that I own, but because it's so beautiful, I don't really mind. I think the scent as itself, if you spray it on your clothes and you really get yourself in a fragrance cloud, I think you're gonna smell like it. And over here, you know, we are proclaimed um, over sprayers and we're proud of it. So this is definitely one fragrance that I would say is one of the collections. Cause when I decide what is in the my top most best fragrances of all time, I was um, compared with how much I'm obsessed with the fragrance. And I'm very, very obsessed with this fragrance. I have it on my wish list since a while. I didn't pull the trigger yet, so this was the moment and I'm really excited. Um, by the way, I have linked this in my like to know it. I link it down below. Um, you can find all of the fragrances that I love. I even made a collection of my favorite fragrances. I've linked everything in my link tree. So I would be very happy if you would purchase with the link. Um, but yeah, if you get any fragrance, always let me know. Always write me on Instagram. I always answer. I always do. And I'm really excited to have those chats with you. But let's go into my top selection. First one of the, there's like no particular order, but just grab the ones that I see. First one of my favorites of all time would be Rose d'Arabie by Armani Privé. And if you know me, then you know, the, oh, then you know, then you know, this was one of my very first private exclusive fragrances that I purchased. I was very young, maybe in my early twenties or before that. And I was completely blown away. This is a gorgeous oud fragrance. Um, I believe there's wood with rose. I mean, if you're looking for this Middle Eastern woody fragrance, like smelling fragrance with a rose touch, and you're looking for that one rose wood fragrance, Rose d'Arabie is your go-to. It is absolutely beautiful. Like I have been stopped at the bus stop in the morning for this fragrance. And I am in love with this fragrance. This is also one that I continuously purchased over the years, which is unusual because obviously your fragrance tastes also change. So some fragrances that I wore in my early 20s, I could not smell and not wear anymore. However, this one, it is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Then let's stay with Armani Privé. I think Armani Privé should contact me because not only am I a fan of their beauty products, but I also really love their fragrances. So next up is Bleu Turquoise, which is so exciting because when I first posted this, you all really love this as well. And I now see it all the time on TikTok and it always reminds me how beautiful this fragrance is. This is a masterpiece. This is exactly, and I, rem I want to repeat myself what fragrance is about. It's about creating a feeling in a bottle. And this is exactly what they did with it. It is a feeling that you get when you're on a vacation somewhere at the beach and you walk at the night and you've smelled the air and everything just feels so comforting and you're just enjoying your stay at a luxury resort it kind of feels like the feral like it smells mysterious like when i think if you would come across a girl a woman that smells like this you would be like what is she wearing like i've never smelled anything like this before aquatic woody sensational lasting power lasts for me almost 24 hours and I think worth every penny because you don't need a lot, but it is definitely a showstopper. So I need, I don't know. I love this fragrance. It's also a gorgeous bottle. Then it would not be my favorite collection if it wouldn't be for Peregrina. And look, I almost finished it. There's not a day that goes by where I don't smell this fragrance and I'm like, I'm in love. 
again this was my wedding fragrance i don't want to repeat myself but i will always repeat myself anyways but this was my wedding fragrance a really long lasting fragrance i actually had a comment on tiktok for someone saying that it doesn't last long i just want to say that just because something lasts on me doesn't mean it lasts on you as well i don't know all of the secrets behind fragrance but what i can tell you is that mean makes amazing quality fragrances the fragrances are actually extra so the um perfume content is quite high and for me this lasts forever it just works great with my chemistry with my skin chemistry um and every time i wear this i get compliments and i just smell it also all the time and that's not very normal because normally you get agnosmic to a scent when you wear it a lot or you have olfactive olfactive fatigue and this is the only like one of the only fragrances that i continuously smell throughout the day and it's just my favorite fragrance ever they also made a body lotion six months too late because i needed it on my wedding day <laughs> but um I hope they make a hair fragrance as well. This is my number one. It's still my number one. It's never gonna move. And I always will repurchase that. Then on my next up, we have also fragrances that I don't have because like I said, I have to be kind of like attentive to what I get. But these are the fragrances that are in lineup what I get next, okay? So I will tell you one other fragrance that I think is amazing is Patiala from Tamin. And I need to thank the girl that told me about this on TikTok. She told me I need to smell it if I love uh, Peregrina. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I feel like it's such a, like it made me feel so feminine. It still has something very strong in it. And it's definitely a fragrance that I would get as well. It's something very special. And as, there's something flowery as well. I actually think that if you like Delina, you might like Patiala. It's so, so beautiful. I will try to add the notes here. And it's definitely on my list. Then the next fragrance that I also don't have is Oud Royale by Armani Privé. I love Armani fragrances and Oud Royale is definitely one that is on my list. Like I went back the other day to smell it again and I was like, I just need this fragrance. It is a gorgeous Oud. It just like the name it says, it's a very royal fragrance. If I would recommend you an Oud that you like really elegant, sophisticated Oud, I would recommend you Oud Royale. I don't know if there's any amber in it, but there's something that it smells very silky to me something that gives it a kind of a softness and at the same time it makes the fragrance a little bit more complex and I'm just really in love with it and it's also on my list. Next up, um, I think everyone needs a, a molecular fragrance in their collection. Mine would be Extreme by Ether. Why I would say is because I have this now since last year and I used it a lot but it's still very, like it's not a fragrance to use like a body spray. <laughs> it's used like a body spray. I mean, <clears throat> I don't know why i don't know if it's the spray bottle that gets out a lot um but they're actually quite similar if you like another 13 i can recommend you um extreme by esther it smells very similar I need to drink something I'm talking a lot but yeah um if you really like um if you like another 13 then i can highly recommend this this is a very woody fragrance um again a very molecular fragrance because it is a molecular <laughs> fragrance but if you're not familiar with them they have a very woody clean smell a lot of people like them because um you don't always smell them and not everyone smells them this is the kind of fragrance when you come close to someone you get a whiff or this is the kind of fragrance i can imagine people that work maybe in the healthcare wear because it's not like all over your face all the time it's a very subtle hint and that sometimes makes it more interesting are we are we i do agree but what i also really love is there are really amazing fragrances for layering so if you want a fragrance that like you know you want to amplify fragrance i always recommend using a molecular fragrance because i don't know what they do but they do amplify it so this would be my one that i wanted to keep in my collection over we go to hair fragrance as well. Next one is Riviere, and I think everyone needs, or that I would go again, like get again if I didn't have, if I had zero. It would be Riviere by Tamin, but the hair fragrance. This is a beautiful, airy, musky, um, some a little bit of a soapy fragrance, but it is so, so elegant. If you want this elegant fragrance, for your hair, this is it. I love to use this on my hair. This is my go-to on my hair. It just it just works with everything. It's a little bit more light. It's a little bit more, 
you know, subtle as well, but it's still very present. And, and I think there are fragrances that work perfectly for your hair. You know the feeling when you leave the hairdresser and she used an amazing shampoo? This is the kind of feeling that it gives me. So I think this is something that, um, yeah, it's just amazing to have in your collection. Then one of my all-time favorites and the reason why I fell in love with the brand Mise Cier is Perfect Oud, which is truly a perfect oud. Next to Oud Royale, probably one of my favorite oud fragrances. Not probably, yes. I even introduced um, Valerie to this and she loved it as well. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it all the time because you know how much I appreciate the brand's sophistication and elegance behind all of the DNA that they have. But this fragrance is just absolutely beautiful. If you're looking for an oud fragrance but you're scared because oud can be overwhelming, start off with this. This is beautiful. It has a powdery um, aspect to it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I have another fragrance that got introduced to me by Alex Aroma when they sent it to me. And this is Stephanie de Bruyne's Paris Abu Dhabi. And... Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh my god. If you're looking for a powdery, woody fragrance, I mean, this is the one. And the bottle, how gorgeous is this? Like, so cute. On your vanity, does it get more fancy than that? I don't think so. It's very, very elegant. And not the sound of the bottle, too. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's a very woody fragrance. Again, you know me. It actually has... It's very woody and um, what I love about it is the combination between the woody and the powdery note. It's kind of a great balance, to be honest, because it's sometimes woody fragrances can feel heavy. But the fact that it is a bit powdery just kind of like slows it down a tiny bit. But it's so, so beautiful and I really love this fragrance. Again, all about sophistication and luxury to me. Style by Arabian Oud. And someone asked me where you can buy this. Well, I got this on their fra fragrance, um, official fragrance website. I don't know. I hope not that they discontinued it because why do every why does everyone discontinue all the great fragrances? I have no idea. But this is absolutely beautiful. I really love this fragrance. Um, again, I told you before if you're new here, this is hands down. I would say in the top three of all wood fragrances that I've smelled. And it is an amazing price. You get the quality, you get the true wood fragrance. If you're looking for a Middle Eastern fragrance, this is the one. Um, it's definitely not the one for you if you don't really like oud, because this is really oud. If you like Dior Ispahan, um, some people said it doesn't smell like it, but I have to be honest, I have this since I'm 20. I got this on and off. And when I tried Isfahan, it reminded me of this fragrance, but a toned down version. Not that this is not good, it is not the same, but because I was used to this and it's a very strong fragrance, I just prefer this to this one. Although Isfahan is beautiful, this is just my preference um, to the, if I would have to choose between two of them. And Arabian Oud, again, is a brand that is like amazing. You need to discover it if you love everything that's Woody Notes and you haven't discovered the brand, I would very highly recommend you do. Um, I really love this fragrance because I think, in my personal opinion, you can never have too much Oud because it just always does the job, let's be honest. You have to get, sometimes people say they have to get used to it. I get that. I just always loved it. But oh, it's so, so beautiful. Oh. it's just it's just perfection when it comes to oud to me and again the price was really amazing i think it is around a hundred dollar and it was um what is a hundred ml i think yeah it's a big bottle and it really lasts you a long time because you know a little bit goes a long way the next fragrance that i have here it is opulent mask i got this as a fragrance as an engagement fragrance and I think I will keep this forever just because it reminds me of our holidays in Dubai when I got proposed to, which is almost two years ago, which is insane. And um, it just makes me always remember the days before leading up to that and the day itself. And it's just a beautiful fragrance. And um, some people say that it is. And I remember, like, again, I repeat what I said before. A lot of people said this is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. It is not. It is not a dupe. It doesn't smell like it. However, if there was a Middle Eastern version, it would probably smell like it, this. Because there is an aspect of it that I can understand that is a kind of similarity, but it is completely different. So if you like Baccarat Rouge, it doesn't mean that you like this. Um, again, if you love a woody fragrance and you don't mind something that smells 
musky and a little bit smoky but still a little bit sweet this is your go-to and the price let me tell you amazing and i'm obsessed with it next few fragrances i unfortunately don't have in my collection but i will have soon i promise you that <laughs> i mean at least i need to finish some of the fragrances that i have but once i do i will definitely get them and the first one is soleil de gida by stefan umbert lucas there's one that is also quite popular which is i think the mango version which is gorgeous but the one that i'm talking about is the original when i smelled this i am not kidding it was a long time that i felt like wow i just really really loved how the fragrance developed on my skin it's a very high quality fragrance and it lasted on my skin for hours it's the kind of middle eastern fragrance with a twist um there's some flowery notes in there i think that i just didn't expect i will try to put the notes here but there were some notes in it i didn't expect but i absolutely loved this is my next one on the list like i want to get it tomorrow but i promised myself not to get anything unless i got rid of anything and if you would see my fragrance box you would understand and i'm not talking about 300 fragrances but i'm someone i like to have 10 fragrances i mean 10 or 15 i would not want more i even said 30 in the past but don't forget about it like I want to have fragrances I can see and I'm saying like I'm gonna wear you today if I have too many fragrances I, I don't even know like what I'm gonna do like it's overwhelming to me and <sighs> sounds very dramatic but you get what I mean so yeah Stefan Umbert Lucas is definitely on my next list this is absolutely incredible like if you get a chance to smell it you need to just if you have the same taste you will love it like I guarantee you it's so so beautiful then the next two that I'm going to talk to you about are, um, uh, are Versace fragrances. I've mentioned them again and again and again, but they are Santa Boise and Saffron Royal, which are both incredible fragrances. They are absolutely beautiful. And if I could have them by today, I would get them because they're so, so beautiful. Like I don't exaggerate. Like I even told, um, I went and smelled with uh, Valerie as well. Um, and she really agreed with like she loved them as well i mean it's my usual what i like and so so gorgeous i like santa boise is a very woody it's kind of like a cypril aspect to it it is so beautiful very woody again has a sophistication to it and when i tell you this you're like oh, it sounds like any other fragrances but it is different it's similar but it's diff it's different then saffron royale has a saffron aspect and i'm absolutely obsessed with saffron in fragrances i don't need to tell you that but they are so so beautiful and i definitely want it so i might need to figure out if i want one or the other you know what i mean like maybe having two of them is a bit too much but i think my next go-to is soleil de gida because wow what a gorgeous fragrance it was so yeah these are my top fragrances that I smelled that I like these are the best fragrances that I've smelled bear in mind ever okay so I'm not saying that there are not more gorgeous fragrances out there but haven't smelled them yet so I will update the list if I did and um, you know I'm always very honest and only ever share things that I truly love because I'm very picky and um, there's a lot of fragrances that I can recommend that I think are beautiful for certain moments or for certain people but fragrances that I truly love there are not millions out there at least i haven't i have smelled a lot of fragrances but fragrances that do to do something to me where i'm like can't stop thinking about them that's that's very rare but the ones that i showed you i definitely had that effect with them at some point but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any wishes regarding fragrance video or something in similar please let me know also i wanted to remind you to not forget to get the chance to get this beautiful necklace or earrings or any other jewelry that you want with Ana Luisa. Remember, the second one you get 50% off. And if there's not a better occasion than now, I don't know what it is because it is the season to gift. It is the season to treat yourself. It's always season to treat yourself, but it's a good excuse at least. And um, again, I really recommend them. The other pair that I have, I have, I mean, you can go down back to my videos. I think I did a video at the start of my YouTube with them and um, it still looks like new i get asked all the time where they're from and i wear things a lot when i get things i wear them a lot and i'm not someone that like saves them for special occasions <laughs> i'm really not so i'm really excited about this pair because it's like a gold and like little stones and they are so cute it's like exactly my cup of tea 
and especially if you like like i mentioned before if if you like um stacking jewelry i think they're really great they also have really nice rings i don't really wear rings unless it's my wedding and engagement ring but definitely check out again all of the information is down in my bio make sure you click on it and if you happen to be later on the video you still have a 20 percent off with my code Hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe if you haven't and also follow me on tiktok i'm such more i'm a lot more fun and like a lot more active on there than i'm on youtube although i will be more active on youtube again but um i would love for you to have i would love to have you there as well have a nice day see you